and welcome to the Gotham Outsiders, our Batman book club. Today, we are here for a very special update episode. We have been teasing it on social media and promising it, and you've all been waiting, and now it's here. I am your host, Bad Obsessive Chris, and with me is my co-host, TJ. Hello, everyone. I am your Chris Proclaimed Batman Talon, freshly graduated, and... We have some big news today. That's right. TJ is the talent now, which means our show really just needs a new acolyte. We can't really function with only a talent and an obsessive. So we've brought in an acolyte. That's right. Our first brand new to the, the new class of Gotham Outsiders, if you will. Our new acolyte, Mark Perez. Hello. I know you can't see me, but I'm flailing my arms like Kermit the Frog right now. I was also <laughs> flailing my arms, and you so you also couldn't see that, but we were just gesturing at each other uh, idly. <laughs> I was imagining us on a stage, and the red curtain just pulled away, drops, and it's just Mark yep. just closing. There's Mark. I love mm-hmm. that. I love it, yeah. Mark. So, well, listeners, we should tell you all. So we have been teasing that things are going to be changing with Go, and we're going to be talking about them throughout the night. But one of the biggest changes is that we have a new co-host. Mark, you're here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's crazy to think about how we just met on Twitter, yeah. you know, and just <laughs> our, our our little battle online, yes. and and here we are. Yes, how we <laughs> together. started with a feud because we were trying to debate who had the more toxic fandom. Yes. <laughs> I mean, there's so much to choose from. There's so much, and now you're going to be able to experience firsthand both fandoms, so you can decide. Like, you could actually be the test subject on this. That sounds quite delicious, doesn't it? You're so welcome. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited to introduce you to the Bat Bros. Um... <laughs> yeah, that Star Wars fandom is scary. It, it is. is. It is yeah, very, just, very scary. But just you wait. Make a few comments about how actually some women who draw Batman are talented and see how it goes for you. Oh, and- Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a throwback, listeners. Go back through the episodes and find what I'm talking about. Uh- <laughs> oh, my God. So uh, where do we want to start, TJ? Uh, well, I mean, we already talked about kind of how we met. So... Mark right. was on a, on a Star Wars podcast and mm-hmm. I started listening and told Chris about it. And, you know, we started kind of writing the podcast and going back and forth, joking about, mm-hmm. you know, who had the worst fandom. And apparently, Mark, it was you were the one tweeting us, right? Yeah, it was just it just kind of just went there from there. And then, you know, then we were just kind of sending menacing tweets at each other that yes. really were dripping with kind of just backhanded oh, yeah. compliments and love you yes. know but- <laughs> we were yes we were doing a lot of uh threatening gifts but with compliments <laughs> like woven into them yeah. <laughs> yeah we needed a we needed a podcast rival and mark yeah. filled that role it just <laughs> felt like if you're gonna have a podcast somebody needs to be your like nemesis and yes. so we, yeah. we chose mark it, happens. it, happens. it does yeah. happen but then so. he came on and we became friends and it really was problematic for our whole like rivalry thing. Exactly. Right. exactly. I was like, where uh, do we go from here? And well, no, <laughs> I, I think it was really obvious to our listeners that we liked you a lot, which was just not working for the vibe. Right. Yeah. So like every time you've come on, I think we've been like, oh, we hate each other. Yeah, we hate each other. And then we seem to like exactly. have a great time for the rest of the episode. If I remember yes. correctly, our first episode was the Phantasm, the Batman Mask of the Phantasm episode. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Which is one. Honestly, I- I'll tell you this. I've been mm-hmm. podcasting for a long, long time. And that's one of my favorites I think I've ever recorded. Oh. Because like I enjoyed the, the material so much and then I got yeah. to like, you know, talk about it with you two. And so it just, to me, it just really reminded me of how excellent that animation was, the story and so everything. Good. And, you know, to be able to talk about those things now and especially because here's here's the thing. You learn about these things when you're a lot younger and then you you either watch it later, much later in life or like in this instance, it was the first time I actually watched it the whole way through. Yeah. But you're seeing it through the lens as an older queer person, you have all that experience and all that you bring into it. And it just changes how it all comes out, the way you yeah. talk about it and everything. So yeah, I, I, to me, I just, like I said, it just, it was one of those that it, it's always been one of my favorite things that I recorded. I was just actually talking about Aww. it this past weekend. So. Aww, that's so fun. 
<laughs> Listeners, you should definitely go back and check that one out if you want an origin story. It was one of our best yeah. episodes for sure. And we did we did the Batman with Robert Pattinson. That was that's one of mine that we've one of my yeah. favorites that we've ever done with um I think it was Mark and Steven Leva. Yeah. That was one of my favorite recordings yes. we've done. Yes. Oh. And that you and cool Steven too. hit it off. So wow. Yeah, yeah no, but like we're we're still friends on social media. So. <laughs> yeah, I love like, that. We thought you two knew each other ahead of time. We were like, wow, you yeah. have a, a whole rapper and everything. Yeah, 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 no, it just it was cool. I I love I love when I meet new people and we just connect. It's just it's always such a nice thing. You know? Absolutely. So, it's cool. yeah. so that was us planting the seeds way back when. Yeah, you know, on a, on uh, on purposefully. <laughs> we were like planting the seeds to get you over here with us yeah as we slowly lured you into our podcast net (laughs) (laughs) ensnared me in your web (laughs) so we're kind of talking about like our favorite batman things we've recorded together but i guess this is a good segue and maybe we've talked about it a little in the past but mark what's some of your like batman origin story in terms of how you got into it and some of your favorite variations of batman or bat family you know i mean it's funny i mean it's like look i've been around a lot longer than you two so we'll start there right you know back you know when we used to ride dinosaurs to school and um, (laughs) so well really i mean it was like you know the 60s batman show was my intro into starting to love dc stuff then of course wonder woman wonder woman on tv and then of course superman so those the, the three were my big doorway into all things DC, right? And then yeah. when I finally started getting into comic books, I was really, really primarily started off with Marvel because of the X-Men, right? Sure. So oh, yeah. I was in that for a long, long time and I didn't come around to DC for a long while. But then when I did, I was like, oh crap. I was like, I've been totally missing out, you know? And then, so little by little, I mean, it's like I picked up like, books here and there you know things that i've digested in the movies and everything of course um because i was obsessed with batman when batman 89 came out oh my god wow <laughs> I wow know. so good um you know and then i every every everything since then and but like as far as the books go i think just in the last like i would say three or four years is where i really started focusing more and more on um the comic books i mean Nightwing has hooked me in, uh, yes. you know, Jonathan Kent. I mean, all these storylines. Um, trying to think of what the storyline was called recently with the freaking uh, Scarecrow with Batman, which was freaking oh, fierce. Really oh, freaky. Was it fear State? Yes, that was freaky. I was, was like, good. <laughs> uh-huh. it was so good though, right? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah that tie in run yeah, is my absolute I'm, I'm favorite. trying not to, because I mean, I'm still in, in very, in, in a lot of ways, a noob in that I've taken a bit of a deep dive, but I don't recall everything yeah. just yet you know but that will change in time so oh, yeah. <laughs> sounds like you're perfect to be an acolyte it, yeah you're yes right where exactly you need to be. exactly i can say from experience now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um so what are some of the comics are you following any like month to month right now mark yes yes so i'm reading uh batman nightwing uh, the new Superman title. I have to go back and read the the John Kent six limited uh, six issue series because um, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm missing a couple of issues. Um, but like the John Kent series before that, I was super yeah. into. Like that was that was really really good. I need to catch up on Titans, so I'm totally behind on that. Yeah. So because so that's reading... already started, correct? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That has a yeah. few out. So okay. you're reading Chip Zdarsky's Batman right now? Yes. Oh, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, very good. Yeah, no, this big, it's been, it, there's some good Batman stuff out there. Right? Yeah. It's like, um, so I am really appreciative of that. And then there was like, what was that one, the series that was going on a while ago was, it wasn't called Nightfall. I forgot what it was called. It was something they, they tweaked the the storyline. It looked the like night? it was in a, I don't know what it was. I have to look it up. So anyway, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you should both check out the, now that I've graduated, I'm going to recommend a Batman title. Uh, uh, the Batman and Robin coming out right now by Joshua Williamson. It's like, oh, really? 
Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like anime-ish looking art, oh. and it's like Damien in public high school. It's Aww. really fun. Oh, cool. I, I was going to say, Mark, you got to read the world's finest, because that series uh, is so oh, good. I, I do collect that one. Yes. Oh, good. I love that <laughs> yeah. one. Thank you. Thank you for oh, reminding me God. that. I, that is one of my books that I have. That's why I was like, I, I have quite a few that yeah, I just, do. I'm so behind though right now. Mm. Um, you know, That's fair. And, I'm always behind, as listeners know, so. Yeah, it's just it's a lot to catch up on. It's like, but it but I'm making time for it now because it's just, especially if the 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 actual storyline hooks me in, then I was like, well, yeah. I need to know what happens, right? So absolutely, yeah. I hear Hawk Girl by Jadzia Axelrod is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Oh yeah, <laughs> huh? Imagine there's that name again. <laughs> 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 great a great christmas gift for people to give each other the the yeah. issues of a uh, hawk hawk girl <laughs> uh yeah for real um oh excuse me <laughs> sorry i have a cold <laughs> it's like coming through. yeah i know oh um so mark so you said you liked 89 and um you know the original adam west what other Batman movies or properties have you enjoyed? Over the years? Mm-hmm. Well, Batman Returns, of course, because Michelle Farber's Catwoman. I mean, come on, I'm a oh gay man. God. There's no way yes. around it, right? Yeah, of course. You know, um, that, um, and then, of course, I, I really enjoyed um, The Dark Knight and, um, mm-hmm. you know, the, the Nolan films. I thought the first one I didn't really care for. The other two were good, but, you know, um, mm-hmm. and then The the Batman was awesome. Yes. Oh yes. my god, I was just so surprised to see that. I was like, this is so cool. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. And then of course, like you know, I mean, and the, I know people give the Zack Snyder films a really hard time. They're not my favorite, but I'm happy that we got to see some bright lights out of that whole thing, right? Because there yeah. were some cool parts to it. It doesn't have to be my favorite, but I'm glad that we got to see them because then they could get to continue, right? Yeah. And I'm mm-hmm. super, super excited for the new Superman film because my husband, David Cornsweet, is in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm here for Nicholas Holt. I just yes. want to yes, say. Absolutely. I mean, oh. the, the whole cast, I'm like, this is a dream cast. I'm so happy. So I'm, I can't wait to see what happens. No, I totally, I totally agree there. I, I get you on the Snyder stuff. I, I am one of the biggest complainers of it, but I still think Bat Dad was pretty fun. Bat, yeah. Fleck, Bat Fleck, Bad Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then, of course, we have the animated series, of course. I oh, mean, those things yes. that they kept, you know, Batman going all these years. It's like you can't talk about Batman without, you know, the mm. the series itself and what that did. It just a whole new generation of people grew up on Batman because of that. So, right. yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Do you watch the Harley Quinn show? I've seen a couple of episodes, but I've not, I'm not caught up on it at all. Okay. But it was fun what I saw. Yeah. We might have to force you to watch that at some point. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I'm slowly making a list of things I'm going to force you to consume as my okay. athlete. Uh-huh. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, Mark, I'm so excited that you're doing this with us. Uh, yeah, I can't say it. Was that my idea? This was Chris's idea was Aww. to get Mark. Um, <laughs> and the origin story of that is, you know, I was kind of struggling with uh, doing this podcast with my work life right now. Mm. And just, you know, I was like, is there a way we could incorporate someone else or another angle to, you know, maybe give me some some time that I really need right now. And Chris came back to me and was like, uh, yes, and its name is Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, because you hit me up and you're like, you told me a while ago, but you're like, but it's going to be a little bit because there's all this stuff going on. He goes, but we'll yeah. we'll let you know when it's time, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll put up the bat yeah. signal. Exactly. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I mean, I guess listeners is part of the go is changing. I feel like, I feel like we're ha- sitting down listeners and giving them a puberty talk. Like you're going to be changing right now. You're going <laughs> exactly. to yeah. some growing yes. pain. Um, so see, so f- first of all, things that are not changing because we know change is hard. I will be on every episode of the show going forward and always. Mm-hmm. Um, but TJ may not be. So yeah. TJ, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So now that I've graduated, I've been saying, you know what? I'm kind of the Nightwing here. Like, yes. I need to go off and 
do my own thing and exactly so I'm still gonna be around and Mm -hmm. I keep saying you know I'm like oh good like Mark is here Mark can step in and kind of fill in you know bring your own role to the show now and yeah I don't have to be in every episode but then I am talking with both of you about all the exciting things (laughs) you want to cover and I'm like oh I kind of want to be there for that (laughs) So, well, you will see. be there when, 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 when you like, you know, like, this is what I have to be on, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, so I will we'll be see. here. We'll literally see when he'll show up what he wants to, much like Nightwing. Basically. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And luckily, a, a lot of your plans that, you know, we're talking about are really exciting. So yeah. there's a lot that I'm excited to do with you both and, cool. um, and, you know, to step back and I can, can trust both of you and Mark to do an amazing show because I love you both and I know Aww. you're both awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. TJ's and TJ's gonna put on his uh disco costume that goes, you know, down to his belly button and go to Bloodhaven. <laughs> there you uh, go. <laughs> yes. I'm always just a bat signal away. Yes. Yeah. So does so, that make and I'll Mark, be around. Is that make Mark my Jason Todd then? Cause oh. we better keep him away from any uh crowbars. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yes, but I'll still be on the Twitter. I'll still be, yeah. you know, helping and TJ, edit and yeah, all TJ sorts of stuff. Yeah, TJ produces the whole show, so he oh, is going to cool. be behind the scenes of every episode. Yes, yeah. I I was telling Chris, I love the organizing. So like, so you're the you're the oracle now. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are you are the oracle. So yeah. the other change to the show, we should say, is we're we're getting more regular. We're eating our wheaties now. Um, <laughs> But, uh, you know, our show has always been a little bit of a, a mystery when it would appear. But <laughs> right. now it is going to be regular. We're doing mm-hmm. two episodes a month um, on the regular. And then also we're launching a Patreon with Patreon oh, episodes. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so it's cool. It should be really good. Um, the Patreon will be up when this episode is up and you'll be able to uh, access some fun stuff on it. Um Mark, you and I probably chat about some things <laughs> we might do for it. Yeah. Um, uh, off air. Uh, but yeah. Um, so all kinds of all kinds of fun stuff are coming. And that means with the Patreon money, we're going to actually uh fire Nick, R.I.P. We love him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we will be able to pay an editor, <laughs> which is exciting. Yo, how did I, how did you find out? Well, I was listening to the podcast. And all. <laughs> right. <laughs> He literally is probably delighted, I'm sure. Um, yeah. Honestly. And Nick is my husband for any listener who is right. not sure. Yeah, if um, you've missed all the many times we've referenced Nick, Nick is TJ's husband, who's probably so delighted that we're finally hi- hiring an actual editor. So we have um, Talking Comics' own Steve Say has is going to be editing, as well as I will be editing some of the shows, but probably not getting paid for it. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I guess we should mention some of our episodes coming up are recorded long in the past. So actually, we have an episode with my husband, Nick, coming up. Uh, We have one with Mark coming up. (laughs) Which one was that? Which one was (laughs) that? It's the Suicide suicide Squad. squad. Yeah. Yeah. (gasps) Oh, that's right. Oh, that was a lot of fun too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, yeah, we we basically were debating what we wanted to do with the show, and we kind of just went into our bat cave and hid for a while. So we have a few in the we have a few in the chopper to put out uh, from that period. So we'll mix them in new episodes like this one with some old episodes. So you get to do some timey wimey stuff. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, and I will say one of the first episodes coming up is one with one of my idols of my youth. I know, I'm and excited for it. I don't want to spoil it, but it's, it's I not will Nic- say- I It's th- not Nicholas Holt, but it might be related no. to Nicholas Holt. Oh. I feel like I peaked in that moment and <laughs> was like, you know what? I got to tap out here because this was just- TJ is like, I, I quit. I can't do yeah, better than this. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, it was so- We've got to talk to so many amazing people. Yes, not you have. That. I, yeah. I've, I've honestly, it's just like I've told you before, I've sat back and I'm amazed at, like, I was like, wow, like, look at this person pop up, or just <laughs> the creatives that, you know, you've yeah. gotten to just come and talk on, on, you know, talk comics and whatever. Yeah, well, you're wow. going to be a part of that now, too, and talk to these people as well, so. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no you were, no you're pressure. one of those awesome people. That's true. You're the friend oh. we made through the show. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, just. 
I mean, it's really not overwhelming, but it may be in a good way. Like how many yeah. people like when I'm like, oh, I would love to talk to this person. Let's reach out to them. And then, you know, you reach out. And of course, it's something we like. So it's someone who's writing yeah queer themes and you know they see our show and they're like oh yeah that's the show I want to go on like it's just I love that we're able to connect in that way over these things yeah for for me that's why and and this is part of the discussion TJ but I've been having behind the scenes is wanting to make the show more regular which really became I became committed to after FlameCon this year and I was gonna ask you about that yeah dropped so you can all go listen to the FlameCon episode but after FlameCon this year I was like really I just want to I want it to be more regular because you know my original mission when I created the idea of the show which if you don't remember the origin story it was just a ha 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 wouldn't this be funny unless that happened on Twitter where I said, like, what if I made a queer feminist podcast about Batman? Because none exist, and none existed then. None still exists now. We have a couple of like gay. We, I'm sorry, we have one other gay podcast <laughs> that exists about Batman now. Just like the one other, um, but which is very cool. I got to meet them at FlameCon, and they were rad. That was the Bat Chat with Matt and uh, oh god, I don't remember Matt's co-host name, but. Oh, um, they gave us a shout out on Twitter the other week oh, and Matt yeah and they Eric, I think yeah promote promote uh, that episode that we dropped and oh, they so could sweet. be interested in coming on to talk to us at some I point love that. they're great yeah so there it, you go it's still a very small niche place so I think after going that's to Flame good Con, though I, I agree good. I mean yeah. it made me more and more committed to be like this place is needed and the community that's grown around go from the beginning is so yeah. important to me that I was like, we need to make this bigger. And yeah. part of that was bringing you on Mark and not just being the two of us doing it anymore. So, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, when I was telling Chris, like, you know, I think I might need to step back a little bit. I really need a break, a breather. Mm-hmm. One of my reasons too was like, Oh, I, you know, I would hope we would find someone because I think a new voice in our yeah. show could be really beneficial and bring a new perspective yeah. um and like we're saying i've i've kind of graduated from the newbie and so i think yeah. we really do need that fresh newbie perspective and yeah you're i just know you're gonna do amazing mark thank and I, you I mean, tj can attest that this is 100 percent true i told dj that i would either you would say yes mark or i would do the show alone because i yeah. was not willing to take yeah. another co-host oh. <laughs> i was yeah. very dramatic about it i was like no one but mark if mark says no i'm doing it alone like i'm not doing it <laughs> yeah yeah they they came to me and said the only person i could think that i would want to do this with is mark and i was like oh awesome. and, you know, yeah and tj I was, like, was like god i hope he says he but it was was really true because i had as weird as this might sound um because i have another podcast i have i'm on two other podcasts but for Mm -hmm. me go is like my child and like letting someone i feel like it's polyamorous now letting someone else into this relationship feels like such an act right of trust, exactly right <laughs> and i was like there just isn't anyone else i would trust with this other than you mark like i just couldn't think of anyone that i would let into this relationship other than you and i was like I'm, nobody else I, I i feel quite honored and thank you i will will do my best to be worthy you are you already are we're thruple now are right thruple exactly now. That's how oh my god works. i'm totally totally off subject it's funny because i was walking in the castro about a month ago and yeah. i saw an actual thruple walking down the street they were holding hands and i'm oh like my god. it's funny because i used to be like and i still am like when i see a couple that i really think is super cute i'm like oh you know but then i saw them and i'm like oh, that's so cute that is so cute you Aww. just immediately fanned all over them like <laughs> I love that. That is adorable. Anyway. Oh well, my god. I mean, while we're talking about like our rem is while we're reminiscing, I guess, and yeah. talking about the origin of the show, like Chris, you've talked a lot about how like Glenn Weldon and his Batman nonfiction yeah. book really inspired you yeah. to make this show. And I mean, he literally endorsed this show and praised what us what we're doing, what you specifically are doing, and like I just can't. I, I truly um, have a recording on my phone of the minute in his interview where he is talking about 
he he does this like he oh he's promoting a book that he wrote about how to do a podcast and he goes Oh, not, yeah. not you and TJ, you guys don't need it. You already got it. And I like have that yeah. recorded to my phone and play it sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I've heard him before because he's on, on Pop Culture Happy right. Hour, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I love him. So yeah. I remember the minute we wrote him and he wrote back. I genuinely... I I was at my I was visiting my parents for the weekend and I ran into the kitchen and like screamed my poor mom almost had a heart attack and I was like <laughs> the Glenn Weldon is coming on our show and says he loves our show and I was like freaking out that is so it, it freaking was cool the best it was it's yeah. truly still the highlight for me like as far oh, as yeah. yes yeah I think he might have been the first like you know big name that really yeah. reached out to us like he followed us on Twitter yeah. and yeah. reached out i think he i think he said oh i should come on and talk to you about this yeah. like he was listening to our because we talked about his book with yeah. steven leva and he wow. just loved that episode and he was such an amazing guy and he was yeah and he, yeah and he came on twice he came yeah. back on for the snyder cut episode we got to talk to him about wow. his book which was great and that shit movie which was funny yeah exactly <laughs> and then he i think did... that would be like uh, it would be like me and like terry gross like i would totally yeah. be like freaking Aww. out like if you know because I, I i love terry gross like her and there are a couple other people that i kind of learned yeah how you kind of learn the ropes from hearing them the way they interview yes. people right and the way they talk and the way exactly because i i'd love nothing more than somebody who's interviewing somebody and they've taken such a deep dive that they ask the questions mm -hmm. right yeah. and they can pick up any spot in their career and hit that spot and know all these things and like some of the people were like how did you know that <laughs> it's like it's like look this person 100%. knows their job well okay <laughs> oh 100 percent. yes i yeah. love that <laughs> yeah mm. and just we talked about tim drake coming out with him and yeah uh, yeah just such a highlight yeah yeah but tj i guess i mean <laughs> Not to make this sound like a send off, because obviously you're still very much present. <laughs> yeah, but, you're not getting rid of me. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Also, for listeners, like TJ and I are still best friends. Like we go to see each other all the time. <laughs> I because I know how people get like parasocial relationships with co hosts. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Are yeah. they fighting? Like what's happening? Right. And no. I don't want them to like hate me because they think <laughs> no. I'm trying to replace them or anything. <laughs> no, mom and dad are not fighting. It's exactly. fine. Literally, exactly. TJ and I are hanging out on like we're gonna go watch Aquaman. It's fine. Yeah. um <laughs> but that's true uh, friendship that is we're going to see the second aquaman movie together that is true friendship Good. we went we went through the trenches of saltburn together okay like we are <gasps> i still need to see that oh mark it's best movie of the year so true, good true really obsession. okay cool. i'm obsessed i want to watch okay. it a thousand times i yeah. love it god i love i love them both the leads though so like Ugh, well you, know. you are gonna have such a journey uh such okay. a journey i journey that's the only word i can say um, <laughs> wow uh so tj what has this journey been like for you i guess is what i'm asking of being on go like what is it what has it been like for you um well again i'm not going anywhere no but <clears throat> up until this point i mean i like i said i think we really i really felt like we've not i'm gonna say the word lost i felt like we lost something when I kind of really got into the Batman comics maybe a year mm -hmm. ago, year and a half ago, because like it was at the point where like I was reading so much Batman in my free time yeah, you that were. like I got to the point where I was thinking to myself, like I'm having to play this role in the podcast that I feel like I don't really fit anymore. Yeah. Um, and you know, we had kind of made that benchmark goal of that like oh I can like graduate to the next tier in that in a certain episode a landmark episode um and I felt turtle. really yeah I felt really committed to seeing that through and yeah I think it just kind of worked out where right <laughs> when I hit the graduation mark you know I you know mark pun sorry <laughs> um I you know my wife also just you yeah. know i I have a full-time library job right now oh, driving cool. a giant bookmobile so yeah. Um, yeah it takes up a lot of space in my mind and 
Nightwing yeah. mobile. <laughs> it is your it is your Nightwing mobile. <laughs> oh my goodness! So it's been amazing in that way. Like, so cool, DJ. I love it that. Is. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I just I'm such a big fan of Batman now and reading yeah. like every Bat title that comes out every month. It's a struggle to keep up, and I love it yeah. so much. But yeah. again, to the degree now that I'm like I'm. I don't want to say I'm an expert, but I'm, you know, I'm not an alkaline. You're almost and... an obsessive at this point. Exactly. Like I'm, I love it. So I, Put again, so I just, yeah, yeah. I feel so excited that yeah. we have a new voice in the show who can kind of pick up where I left off in that way. What advice do you have for Mark as the new acolyte on the show? Oh, <laughs> um go into every book with an open mind even okay. if even if you're hesitant okay <laughs> so funny because yeah. tj was constantly more critical about every book but th- than i was <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i'm speaking of like because you know people when we're like oh what book do you want to discuss and they pick like some random book from the 80s that I've never heard of and I'm like oh this is kind of dated but you know I have to find (laughs) something to enjoy even if I'm I get it though there there are books like that out there that I'm like "Uh, okay we read some (laughs) Frank Miller and it was trash so you know yeah no it's 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 tough some of that stuff is tough to get through I mean you know it, it it had its place and again it's one of those like where there's certain books that even if we don't like them they pushed the envelope mm-hmm. at the time to make other things possible. Yeah. And for that, I'm grateful. And so then every that. once in a while, you open up one and Joker's in a turban and he is literally <laughs> like the ambassador of a of a uh, Middle Eastern country for some reason. And you're like, hmm, maybe this could have stayed in the past. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's... <laughs> and it's, it's fun reading those old ones, though. And like, you know, reading newer ones at the same time and just seeing how they connect back in it's little true. ways and, you yeah. know, plot threads that will get picked up 30 years later. Like, so it's yeah. just, it has been a, a journey is the right word and just being introduced to this mythology and yeah. all these plots. Like, so yeah, I'm, so if I could just sum it up briefly, you know, I'm a fan. Yay. You know, I'm a fan now. Good. Yeah. Mark, do you have any questions as you take the torch from TJ? Uh, no, other than I am like, I, again, like you said, coming into like the new books that I may not be um, you know, well versed in, just have an open mind about it because there's a lot of stuff out there, there you is. know, and, um, you know, even some of like the stuff that I've read, I was like, oh, that's okay or like this will be like well i wasn't expecting that you know and yeah so it's it's always fun to find something new that you never would normally pick up and just give it a go do you feel like there's any characters that you don't know anything about that you're like excited to dive into hmm are we talking about from like the the bat bat universe or yeah. just outside of like any dc or batman batman characters yeah, batman characters though we can totally we'll probably end up dovetailing into other ones too think off the top of my head who do i not know enough about i'm trying you to know think who of... asriel is that's true i've been I... wanting to do an asriel episode i, I think... know who he is and i still couldn't tell you who he is <laughs> i want to say i think i have doesn't he have he looks like a weird version of batman also well, right no not like... really he's got like no. red and i remember flaming swords he's like very extreme okay like i'm what demon like yeah okay I think I know who you're talking about. He's like, I like to think of him as religious trauma winter soldier. <laughs> I love him. All right, I'm sold. Right? Okay, Mark, I'm putting it on the list. We got to read the Sword of I'm, Azrael. I'm sold. That, that, that right there is like reason enough to want to read more on this character. I am, I'm putting it on our list. We're going to read it. <laughs> I've, been trying to get, I've been trying to get somebody to read uh, Sword of Azrael with me for ages. <laughs> okay, okay. Azrael <laughs> was like... In the 90s, after Bane broke Batman's back, he took over briefly, and it was, like, very 90s. Oh, like, what, what if we do yes. extreme? What if we're That's just, like, extra? That's why I remember. That's why yeah. I was thinking of him as another version of Batman. He uh, he doesn't look like Batman, though. He looks... Yeah. He looks like an extremely emo kid. Okay, like... that's what for some reason that's why I equated him <laughs> that in that makes way. Sense. Yeah, that's, you got it. Like I like surface level stuff. I still remember, but yeah, 
Thank you. Oh yeah. Okay. But we got cool. to, there's a recent one which is very like Winter Soldier religious drama comic yeah. and it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I love its pieces. Awesome. Uh, yeah. So I'm like Mark, I know you're on other shows and you you yeah. get to talk to amazing people all the time. But now you're gonna get to do it in the DC comics. I know that's all. that's like like my um some of the folks on on shooting to Pudu were like, oh my god, that's like, that's so exciting. You know, it's like I yeah. you know I can't wait to see what you guys do and you know and then I of course it's like at, at the same time it's like I'm super excited but it's like I'm super nervous too because like you guys talk to some heavy hitters and I'm like wow. <laughs> TJ is good at it. He's still gonna be doing this for us. He has volunteered okay. to find us these people. So yeah. He's he's oh, incredible. Yeah. He'll just write me sometime, and be like, "Oh, hey, I just casually talked to like P uh P S Cat the other day, and like they want to do an interview." And I was like, "How did you get them?" But he does this. Yeah. He does this stuff. <laughs> I, I'm so I cannot wait to hear your the Flame uh, Con episode. Was that your first time that you guys did the show in in person, like a, no, a live show? Did, we've done uh we did Flame Con last year as well. Oh, cool. So we have two live shows, and they're both okay. up, and you can listen to both of them. It's um, it's it's funny because it's very much the same as doing a show, but at the same yeah. time, it's different. It's different. But yeah. yeah, but I, I enjoyed it. Like I wouldn't be nervous about doing that yeah. at all because I've done it once, right? I was like, okay, yeah. cool. You know, well, um, maybe you can come this year. I know it's on the whole opposite coast, but hey, but hey, you look, have, you I have mean, an open I, was, I, was, <laughs> I was telling my partner David, I was like, you know, like Dragon Con and Flame Con. These we've been to all these other cons. It's like maybe yeah. it's time to branch out a little bit and. Dude. It, go to the the much more queer ones. Do <laughs> it. It's so worth it. It's TJ, amazing. TJ, you have to not be sick this time because you're too right. Out Before, of the two trips, I've gone one day. I, I got extreme yeah, food poisoning the first time. The oh, second no. day, yeah, and then this time I had strep throat and couldn't go. No. At all, so you got like con crud like times ten. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even make it to the con. The, the, oh, he no. didn't he got pre con crud. Oh, yeah, no, it was, so I know. Sorry. yeah, it was so, so bad. I got yeah. to listen to the episode though, and it, it went so well. So oh, maybe next so year I can get back. Yeah, hopefully TJ and Mark can come to next Flame Gone, but I will yeah. be there, listeners. At least one of the three of us will be there. That's the promise. Someone will make it. Someone will make it. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, do we have anything else or are we uh, wrapping up? Mm, I don't know. It's the beginning of a new era. It is. Yep. Indeed this, this it is. This is like our new 52. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, can I be the Batgirl of Burnside? Yes! <laughs> or no, I guess I'm Grayson. <laughs> I don't know. You've, be you've become many a thing. You get your new costume. You got bright yellow boots. You're looking great. Yeah, uh, thanks. <laughs> little, little motorcycle. Uh <laughs> <laughs> And you've been it. aged down. <laughs> I've been aged down. I'm much younger now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Well, I guess on that note, listeners, welcome to the new era of Gotham Outsiders. There are more of us now, and we're even gayer than we used to be. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to this episode of Gotham Outsiders. You can find me, Chris, at Linktree slash The Myth of Psyche, where you can find all of my social media, where I'm on Instagram, Blue Sky, Twitter, and all the various places. You can also find all of my other projects where I'm writing and the other podcasts I host, including Thirsty on Tune, which I host with my friend Bronwyn, where we talk about independent projects like books and webtoons. And on the Talking Comics podcast, where I am also a host now. And where can they find you, TJ? You can find me at TroyFin2 on most social media platforms like Twitter, Blue Sky, Instagram, Threads, a lot. You can find me talking a lot about books, gay things, gay books. And I am a librarian in my professional time and for fun sometimes. So please hit me up if you want a good book recommendation or you have one for me. And where can our listeners find you, Mark? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at I am El Diablito, and also on Sunday evenings with the Broaxium crew. We show is called Shooting the Poodoo. We are on at six p.m. PST, uh, nine p.m. PST. And you can find us all on social media at Gotham Outsiders on Twitter, Instagram, and Blue Sky. 
So thank you for listening and join us next time. Same bat time, same bat place.